Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the month of May. Please do bear in mind that these are general readings, so it may not resonate for everybody. Do take what doesn't leave what doesn't. Um, if you like the reading, please do like, share and subscribe. Very much appreciate that. It will help the channel out. Um, okay, so for uh, these readings, I'll be doing the coffee cup, be pulling out some lovely cards and also I'll be drawing out some runes for you as well towards the end. Okay. Virgo, Virgo, let us begin, let us see, I am getting a lot of excitement here, hurrying, there's a rushing, you're rushing, hurrying, trying to get things done, but it's, ex it's, it's an excitable um, feeling, you're doing it in an excitable way, um, but you are rushing to two things, you are rushing a lot and... Um, it's like you're trying, for this month, you're trying to get things organized so um, you can focus on on um, other things that you want to begin. Other things, it's like some of you are, are wanting to take time out, time out of the grind, time out of... Um, just kind of your day to day. It's like there's there's an opportunity coming to maybe travel, and so it's like there's talk of there's lots of talk happening between your friends or whatnot, and so you can see it happening, and just seeing lots of r rushing, um, and it's saying here to remember um, amongst all of this excitement and and whatnot and uh, running about, it's uh, important to be still. Uh, because there are a couple of things here that perhaps you um, have been putting a positive spin on, um, something that was lacking and, um, and you are putting a positive spin on trying to see the good of it. However, um, something is around the corner where... It is, in fact, very much possible to to that that lack whatever you had to make it into a gain. It's actually very, very possible. So I am sensing something that um, there was a sense of fear in looking into um, oh, a situation, the reasoning behind it. When you're fully faced with that um, you realize that actually it's not as difficult as you thought it is and there's so much potential here to to change this problem um, that you thought was just how it is and it absolutely isn't so basically you're going to face something um, where you'll realize, oh, okay, justice is in your corner. You're able to really kind of, I'm seeing you uh, taking off layers and layers and layers and seeing the exact truth of a situation and something was hidden from you, but you have, it's in your, you, you have the power. It's within you to um, have that revealed in actual fact. You're in a good place. You're supported. I see a lot of support. And now you're able to really feel free and um, and plan ahead. There is, you know, a place that um, if it's a, a work or a job, they always want you there. Um, you're very much needed. You know, people don't want to lose you. So your mind is kind of expanding in so many areas here and you're wanting to just I, I'm just sensing here you're wanting freedom you're wanting to really to break free and so I, you're trying to find ways of of doing that in a stable secure way so you don't feel like um, if you do break free from where you are you don't feel like you have to worry that much and there are um two particular uh, big wish fulfillments that are that is on its way that's happening and a third one that could change um direction slightly works to your benefit though 
you're producing a lot of good results for yourself. There's friends around you that kind of, you know, um, you've been supporting a lot in, in, in a sense, like um, emotional support, always there for them. Um, and you'll see that being reciprocated back to you as well. Even if it doesn't come from the same friends, you there, there's people around you that you have attracted from your good energy. Um, there's a mother figure here, a strong mother figure that kind of wants to reach out. That there's a for some reason there's a hesitation, but they're they're reaching out. There's the, they want to reach out because they miss you. You know, that's kind of specific, but there is some mother figure there that misses you, wants to reach out and kind of they're 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 missing your presence, kind of wanting to hold you there. Um, I'm also seeing a husband figure here, someone that could be an actual husband, could feel like a husband, but it's saying husband here. Um, there's great potential there for something to flourish <laughs> again. Perhaps, you know, there's this, um, you fix something, it's, something is really growing strongly. There's a good foundation of friendship there. And there's something that you're you're holding on to your vision very strongly as well. Um, that you'll be sharing. You'll be sharing your vision with uh, people that are important, that matter. And they will actually help you along the way. And something about the community. You seem to be uh, in whatever community you're involved in or around. You're noticed very much so. It's like you, in in a positive way, you are um, looked upon very favorably. Hmm. And we have the emperor. We have the tower. Okay. And we have the nine of cups. This is beautiful because here with the emperor, it's saying that you are, you know, it's very much... The power is within you to actually look further and change things. And um, it, you're letting go of whatever fear or block that there was in the way. Once it's removed, things start to move suddenly, quickly, drastically. And, and it, it's allowing you to actually fulfill a wish or two. There's a, there's a couple here, actually. You know, that it, you're producing a lot of great results for yourself. You're pushing through and in comes in like an abundance of that. The four of swords. And this is you wanting to take a break as well. And you deserve that. And the two of swords. It's, you know, the direction that you want to take. It's like your heart goes, shall I, shouldn't I, shall I, shouldn't I. That's why you need to take a break because you're not sure which which path uh, or the timing, timing wise may not, may you may not be sure of either. But there is a connection here with, I'm getting the moon also. You know, when we're in a waning moon, um, it's a good time to release any, anything that may have been in the way, you know, and then, oh, you you don't necessarily have to follow the moon, but you can see it that way. Um, when it, you know, when the moon is starting to go into into the new moon, it's a good time to just really um, think about the things that have been preventing you to do things, preventing you or holding you back, and to let go of all of that. Let go of 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 things that have. Um, been standing in your way and it could very much be you yourself your heart in 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 a way so something here is telling me to trust trust within yourself trust that uh where you are in the path you're taking is the right one for you oh and then we have the beautiful queen of wands your charming self virgo your lovely charming self and uh, I'm getting, you know, that luck is, you see, that that there's the, the universe and your guides are with you. And I'm, I, they have your back. 
the Queen of Wands, you're going to find yourself in a really great position of um, that freedom, of that independence that you've been working towards, you've been seeking, you know, and things are, are going to be blooming as well for you. They, they will be flourishing once you kind of take a step back and um, remove whatever illusion that there was. Finding your power and breaking through from that as well. You know, you you are very good when it comes to your charm. Very good. You are very, very charming. You know, on the charm offensive, you know, but you're able to also get what you want. You absolutely are. You're very talented in many ways as well when it comes to um, dealing with all different kinds of people. You know exactly how to match them. Yeah. All right, let's see what the runes have for you. All right, here is Othala. This is um, this is a goddess energy, mm, like we have here, the Queen of Wands. This is your home energy. Okay, let's see what else. And here we have the rune of Thorizaz. Thorizaz is the rune that um, brings in change, brings in big, sometimes drastic change here, like we have with the tower. And the last rune here we have is Jera. This is rewards. This is peace coming in. Beautiful for you. Othala, you know, you're, you're bringing in your... Um, the, the, you're matching the exact energy that you have desired. Your desires are flowing into your home. This is something that you've been wanting. There's a, there's a change in, in your environment, in your, in your property. You know that you are um, bountiful. You are. You have the ability to make things very abundant. You know? um, but this is almost exact to the to the cards and the cup it's it's like a triple confirmation here you know because here <laughs> this is the, your desire and then with this is thor's hammer basically thor is us comes in and breaks the illusion once you face that and you tear it away now you know what to deal with now you know how to deal with it and it's and you'll see actually yes Universe is on my side. You're getting through your wishes. You're getting what you desire. And Jera is is the year that everything that you have worked towards, it's all coming together for you. You're finding that peace and in comes in um, your rewards that you've worked towards, the fruits of your labor. Wow, I love this for you. Uh, this is absolute beautiful confirmation for you, Virgo. I hope that it connected to you in some way is able to help you thank you all so much for your support truly very very much appreciated really from the bottom of my heart take care before i go until next time